Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with makeup. I created this look that you're seeing on my face right now because I really just wanted to play. I have not sat down and just played with makeup for no reason whatsoever in a really long time. I've been in a little bit of like a creative rut lately, but it's back guys and I feel creative again, which is the best feeling ever. Today's video is also sponsored by Hourglass, which is, I mean, the coolest. I've been working with Hourglass for about a year now. Today we are going to be talking about their new brow products. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's video. Don't forget to leave me all of your thoughts down below. Give this a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, let's get started. I am gonna start off first with the eyes because the eyes are gonna be very colorful, a little bit crazy. There's gonna be follow-up for sure, so I wanna kinda make sure everything is gonna stay really clean. Also, because the eyes are going to be a little bit crazy, I am also going to start off with my brows. Sometimes when I do do a little bit more of an intense look, it's nice to have the brows done first so that you kind of have that sort of shape laid out already so it kind of makes things a little bit easier when you are laying down color so i am going to be using the new brow pencil from hourglass it is called the arch brow micro sculpting pencil this is a wonderful little pencil i've been using it for the last three weeks or so it's pretty much a teeny 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 tiny little micro pencil and what's really nice about this pencil is that because it is so small you are able to get really natural looking brows with this product because you could really create very fine hair like strokes so i'm first actually going to brush through my brows with a little bit of brow gel this is the hourglass arch brow volumizing fiber gel and this one is in the shade dark brunette so it does tint your brows really nicely the reason why i put this through my brows first is because I find whenever I put a volumizing or tinted or fibery brow gel through my brows before filling them in, I always find that I don't actually have to fill in my brows as much as I think I do. So again, it kind of just allows my brows to look as natural as possible. So now I'm gonna go in with the brow micro sculpting pencil. There's a spoolie on one side and then the actual pencil on the other. And I'm just going to put really small hair-like strokes through the brow where I feel like I need it. So kind of near the arch of the brow to really define it. And then I always go in with my spoolie and brush through just to kind of soften everything. And then I'll go in towards the front of my brow and do really small little feathery strokes with very little pressure, especially towards the front to keep it nice and soft. And then you have a perfect looking brow. Okay, so now it is time to do the eyeshadow. So I'm first going to actually prime my lids with a primer. This is the Anastasia eye primer. I don't normally use a dedicated primer, but I've been using this one. I've been really, really liking it. Um, I find it just does a really good job of kind of sticking everything to my lid and uh, making the colors appear a little bit brighter since this is a pretty light color. So I'm just gonna blend it out from my lash line all the way to my brow bone. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions Palettes. These two shades over here are really calling my name. I'm first going to go in with the lime green and I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. This is my MAC 242. And I'm going to pack this on the inner part of my eye going about a quarter of the way in. And I'm gonna flip the brush over and I'm gonna go into this shade right above it. It's another matte and it's a nice little teal. And I'm gonna pack that on the middle part of my eye, going about another third of the way. This is the type of look that's gonna look insane until it's completely finished, so please sit tight. I'm gonna flip my brush back over, gonna go back into the lime green, and I'm kind of gonna like pat that in between the teal and the green to create a bit of like a transition shade so that there's a blend in between the two colors. And basically what I'm gonna do now is just gonna continue to apply, blend, apply, blend until I'm happy with the intensity. Now I'm going to take this deep dark blue shade right on the outer corner, and I'm gonna grab that on this little blending brush. This is the JH40 from Morphe. And this is like an electric blue. And I'm kinda of just gonna smoke that towards my lash line on the outer corner. And I'm gonna kind of connect it into the crease, creating an actual V shape on that outer corner. So we have a nice little gradient right now from like electric blue to lime green. 
Okay, I'm taking this clean blending brush. This is the JH37, and I'm just gonna blend along the edge. I'm going for a little bit more of a graphic look. I don't want this to be super blended. I want there to be a little bit more structure to it. So I don't want the top edge to be crazy blended and diffused. I just want it to be softened. So I never play with color, and that's because I just find it to be a little bit intimidating. It's just not really my forte. So I kind of feel like this is super fun, and I'm kind of loving it, even though it may not be perfect because I'm like kind of out of practice when it comes to color. It's still a really fun, fun little change up for my neutral browns. I am, however, going to put on some black winged eyeliner because I feel like it's going to ground the look a little bit more. I always find a black winged eyeliner always does color some good, so I'm going to just go ahead and do that with my Pat McGrath liquid liner. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some falsies to my upper lashes and then I will be right back. Lashes have been applied. I'm now gonna go ahead and apply my Hourglass Caution. You guys knew one of my favorites. I'm always ensured that it's not going to smudge or go anywhere, which is the best insurance possible when it comes to mascara. So I'm just gonna apply some of this to my upper lashes underneath the falsies to make sure that everything is nice and blended. I'm just gonna go into my Natasha Denona Biba palette and I'm going to take this color right here called Tusk, just kind of like a neutral blendy shade. <laughs> and I'm just going to run that along the upper edge of the eyeshadow just so there's, you know, a little something that it's blending into. Just gonna help bring everything all together. Now my face is not yet moisturized, so I am gonna take my Laneige Water Bank Cream, one of my favorites for underneath makeup. As you guys know, I'm just gonna massage that all over my face. And I'm also going to take my Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Serum. Just swipe this all over. But I used to actually really not like it, but I find that it really does make my foundation sit really nicely on my skin. It just gives a nice kind of like hydrated layer to my face. So for my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This is a very, 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 very full coverage foundation. Like you need a pin size amount to cover your whole entire face type of full coverage foundation. So for me, because I have a drier skin type, I do like to make sure that my skin is really nicely prepped with very hydrating products before going in with this. Um, and if it is prepped nicely, then this goes on absolutely beautifully. You do want to use a very small amount though. So today I'm going to be mixing two shades, ivory and nude. This amount of product is going to cover my whole entire face no problem. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe G40 brush. It's a really small kind of fluffy brush. That's my favorite way to apply this product. Um, and I'm just going to start to feather it onto my skin using a very small amount at a time. So I do want to go for more of a full coverage foundation, especially for this eye look, just so the eye look is the focus. I don't want any redness peeking through on my skin, but even though it is going to be more of a full coverage look, I don't want my skin to be completely like blanked out. because so I still like that little bit of translucency to my skin. I just feel like it's more flattering. Okay, now for my concealer, I am going to be taking my Milk Concealer in Fair, and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes. And blending that out with the same brush that I just used for my foundation. For my powder, I'm going to be using my Veil Translucent Setting Powder from Hourglass, and I'm going to use that with my Hourglass Double-Ended Brush. I'm going to take the small side, pick up a little bit of this powder, and I'm going to use this to set the center of my face and underneath my eyes. This is one of the best powders to use if you want to set your makeup, but you don't want to look powdery. I have a drier skin type, as most of you know. I'm very picky when it comes to powders, and this is one of the few that I find joy in using because it doesn't make me look dry. It just sets my makeup and it smooths my skin and it kind of just gives me that perfect finish. So I know this is not the most wearable eyeshadow look in the world, but I think I'm going to skip on the lower lash line. I'm not gonna put anything there because I feel like it kind of makes it a little bit more wearable, a little bit more fresh looking, um, not having a lot of color there. I feel like it kind of keeps the eye looking nice and open. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer, blush, and highlight. So normally when I have a lot going on on the eyes, I like to keep the skin looking really nice and fresh. So to achieve that, I like to use liquids and cream. So I'm gonna be using my Neod Photography Fluid. Wow, I said that so weird. 
photography fluid. And I'm going to take this brush. This is the JH05. I'm going to pick up the product on the tip and then just dab. And then once I have it dabbed, I'm going to blend it. And this is a really nice bronzing product. It's really sheer. So it kind of gives a very natural looking bronze effect to the skin without looking too heavy. For the cheeks, I'm going to be using the new M Cosmetics. Uh, what are these even called? They're like the new blush serums. These are beautiful. They are so so oh, gorgeous. They are so natural looking on the skin. It's a serum, so it gives a really nice glow to the cheek. I love them so much. This one is in the shade Rose Milk. I actually like to apply this with my fingers. I just find it applies best. So I dot it on my cheeks and I kind of just blend backwards. Oh my God, this color is so freaking nice. It's like that perfect neutral pink. So I always like to apply with one finger and then blend with a clean finger. And I find that gives the best effect. Honestly, I'm not even gonna apply highlighter. My cheeks are so nice and glossy right now. I just don't need it. And again, I find when I have a lot going on on the eyes, I don't like to overdo the face with too much. Um, even like too much highlighter, I feel like can be a little bit overdone. So the very last step for this look are the lips. I'm gonna be taking the Revlon High Shine Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. And this one is in the shade Act Natural. This color with the eyes, is like perfect. I love coral and blue together. I think that they complement each other so nicely. And it's nice because this isn't like a bright coral. It still leans more nude, but it has that little bit of pop, which I really like. Like I said, this eye look was questionable at the beginning. We all weren't sure if I would make it through to the end, but I feel like I did. Listen, it's not perfect. I'll admit that. I'll be the first one to say, but um, I think that it is still really beautiful. I think it's really fun. And honestly, it's just makeup. Makeup doesn't need to be perfect, everybody. I hope that this inspired you guys as much as it inspired me. Wow, that was so cheesy. So guys, this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me play with some makeup today. I hope that it really inspired you to just like sit down at your vanity or wherever and just play. Have fun, play with color just for the fun of it. Of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's look and subscribe if you wanna join the fam. And once again, thank you so much to Hourglass for partnering up with me on today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.